Good evening, YouTubers. We're in Conneaut Harbor here, and we're looking at the thousand footer Walter James McCathery Jr. It is uh, just a little bit before five o'clock in the evening, and the McCathery came in earlier in the morning uh, with a load of iron ore. It's going to be then put onto rail cars and sent down to Pittsburgh. They've had a surge in orders, and the Walter J. McCathery is a is a frequent flyer here in Conneaut, and I've done several other videos of, of it coming in. We have a very cold, blustery, and wet day here in Conneaut. Uh, it is currently uh, 34 degrees with a wind chill of 22 according to the weather channel and it is a rain snow mix and uh we've had much and no sun to speak of as it has been this on and uh, on and off uh precipitation falling all day uh it's normal for this time of year but it's not real fun to be out in but i wanted to get down here do a video of this ship and then there will be a another one coming in uh, I believe the Indian Indian Harbor is also on its way to Conneaut. Uh, Walter J. McCathery, a little bit about this ship. Okay, it was uh, originally named the Bell River. It was built in 1977. It's one of 13 1,000-foot ships, uh, giant ships on the Great Lakes. It's 105 feet wide. And... Um, this ship, interest, interestingly, has had a couple of incidents uh, over its career, actually more kind of later in its careers. Again, it started service in 1977. Okay. Um, in 2006, in Superior, Wisconsin, while it was docking, it hit a submerged object that cut a big hole in the side and flooded the engine room, and the ship partially sank. Um, was obviously able to be salvaged. Uh, the American Steamship Company that owns the Walter J. McCathery uh, filed a lawsuit on the dock company for the object being there and was able to win the money for the repair and for the loss of shipping, uh, the cost of the shipping for because it was that took 45 days to repair. Another thing that happened just back here in 2022, as the ship left Gary, Indiana, uh, a crew member was injured, and before they could get him to help, he passed away. It was a very tragic accident. Uh, wasn't able to get the, any more details on that other than his name, but other than the ship did have somebody die on it uh, while in service. Uh, this job is not without its dangers, so working on the Great Lakes. Um, you know, they not only have to work through all types of weather, you know, holidays, weekends, whenever. And uh, as you see, because we've had a mild winter, their season has been extended. So, and uh, normal, normally, the ship was primarily used for delivering coal to a couple power plants in Michigan and St. Clair, which is in uh, Marine City, Michigan, and Monroe, Michigan. But they have their orders fulfilled for the winter time, and the uh, still mills in uh, Pittsburgh have gotten some big orders as of late, which is a good thing. Uh, and so they've had to divert other ships to bring iron ore to Conneaut. So that's just a little bit about this. I have some videos coming up that I'm going to be doing, and one of them is going to be on the on the Roger Blau, who's also parked over here in Conneaut Harbor. I'll pan over and show you Roger Blau. It does have some lighting on it, but is uh, damaged from a fire, and I'm going to do a video on that ship because uh, it's an iconic one. And I say probably one of my favorites in the Great Lake, Great Lakes. Uh, so and and also we're going to be back into some hiking videos. I'm 
going to be getting out on Ohio's famous Buckeye Trail. And uh, hopefully we'll be posting some videos on that soon um, as I do some hikes. Again, my uh, reasoning for doing hikes are showing the trails, showing what's on the trails, whether it's worth going to and taking these hikes and just showing the beautiful nature of Northeast Ohio. And if I am able to capture any of it, wildlife that's around here. Um, so thank you for watching all the way to the end. I greatly appreciate you watching. Put in the comments of any things that you'd like to see. Um, I do the details of these ships uh, off of memory. I'll read about them and then I will quote off of memory. So if I messed up something, feel free to give me correction on that. Uh, and then I will, uh, I will make the correction if I, if I do make a mistake. And uh, if there's any other things that you'd like to see, again, I'm going to do a more extensive one on the Roger Blau that's uh, in long-term storage here in Conneaut, Ohio. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to be saved. Uh, a lot of that's going to depend on our economy. But it, um, I'll have that one coming up, some more hiking videos. And uh, I also am going to be on a podcast, which I will plug on my channel here coming up. Uh, in the near future um, one uh, that's uh, based out in Washington State called Sasquatch Chronicles I had a video of a sighting that I had back in May it's on my channel it's on on the shorts you'll be able to see that and I did several follow-up videos of the area trying to look and see whatever it was I found or seen there at the time and I still not sure, but I sent it to a professional to have the video analyzed. And uh, I will end up being on his uh, Sasquatch Chronicles podcast. So um, I will link that. I'll put that on my channel when that comes out. And uh, appreciate you watching. Um, also, I want to give a hat tip to Per Duncan, the Comrades of Conneaut. It's a YouTube channel. I have. Uh, we'd greatly appreciate it if, if you check out his channel. He's one of the guys who inspired me to getting into doing what I'm doing. Um, he's a great guy and a great friend of mine. And um, he has his channel, again, that's Per Duncan, Comrades of Conneaut. Uh, if you could check it, check it out. Uh, go for check out some of his videos. All right. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a good evening. Try to stay warm. God bless you.